my gosh, so much stuff happened this week that we had to make a second video. So hit the like button if you're excited about this extra video. Anyway, so this week we got started on the consoles that we sold for six grand. We also see our new packaging in action with a box that was returned to sender. Davis lies to me. I build a Bucky's charcuterie board. And finally, Davis screws up and completely blows our lead on an early delivery. You don't want to miss out on anything. Let's go. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. New day, new Bucky shirt. Um, I've been gluing up these panels this morning for the solid wood TV console. Um, that's been going great. I had to join all the wood because uh, the jointed edge from the hardware dealer was nice, but it wasn't perfect. I'm waiting on the clamps to be freed up so I could do the bigger panels. Largely just waiting on glue to dry. We ordered way too much extra lumber for this project. Uh, we've got way more walnut than I thought that we did in the storage rack. We've got a whole extra sheet of walnut plywood we haven't even needed to break into. So things are looking good for this project. So so far. Hopefully I don't screw anything up. Hopefully I don't screw anything up. I don't screw anything up. But if I do, we've got plenty of extra material. I just wish we had a little bit more storage space because I don't know what we're going to do with it if I don't end up using it. Um, we need that commercial space. Well, we don't need it, but it would be awfully nice. So a while ago, we bought an entire pallet's worth of boxes because we were having issues with our boxes getting returned to sender and they got too destroyed and some of the boards were getting damaged. So right there is an entire pallet's worth of boxes to go around our pretty fancy little black board box. And we've been shipping the boards out this way for a couple months now. But today we got our very first return to sender with the new outer boxes. It's actually right there. It's been hiding the whole time. So of course we had to turn the camera right on and show you guys what the boards look like. Are they damaged? Are they fine? Wow. Looks completely just untouched. It looks wonderful. The corner looks a little banged up there, but that's understandable. Yeah. But the box, like, it looks way better than the other box. Oh my gosh, yes. Here. All right, take it out. Look at it. Oh. Wow, looks totally fine. It really does. All right, let's close it back up and send it out. Okay. Well, that was exactly as easy as we hoped that it would be. Um, just had to put a new outer box on it, print a new label, and send it right back out. So, mission accomplished. Hey guys, we just wanted to take a quick second and tell you about our annual Hurricane Disaster Relief Fundraiser. As we're recording this right now, Hurricane Ida is headed toward the Louisiana and Mississippi coast. It's gonna be a really strong one, and we know there's gonna be a lot of damage to people's homes. Um, so, what we do to help is we sell these t-shirts. Uh, there's a link for it in the description down below. Basically all of the proceeds go to supporting hurricane disaster relief and supporting those who need a little help during this time. Check out the link below. Like we said, all the proceeds go to helping people in need. Thanks so much. We really appreciate your help. All right, so I did a bad thing. I lied to Jenny. I told her that I was gonna go get a haircut even though I really need one. I'm not getting a haircut. I am going to Bucky's. I'm always worried when I go into a Bucky's with a Bucky shirt on that they're gonna think I stole it. Anybody else ever get that feeling? Anyway, that Bucky's is a little further, but I like going to that one. It's the biggest one that exists right now, I think. They're about to build a bigger one in Mississippi, which will be nice. But anyway, the reason I went was because Jenny's sort of having eh, a bad day. It's just hard, like it just catches up with you. You know, sales and dealing with rejection and 
all sorts of stuff. It just, I don't know, I just wanted to brighten your day. So I got her a shirt and some kolaches and we'll see what she likes. I didn't get a haircut. You didn't get a haircut? I went to Bucky's. No, yes. I knew you were sort of having a bad day. So, I got you beaver nuggies. I got you a kolache. <gasps> a kolache! No, this is not for you. And I got you a hipster Bucky shirt. A hipster Bucky shirt? Yes. Yes! This is the most hipster Bucky shirt I've ever seen in my life. Not all who wander are lost. I love it. I just thought since you were sort of having a bad day that this might be a good pick you up. Aw, thanks. I feel so picked up. Thank you. Good morning. It is the next day. I just got back from the UPS store because I dropped all the boards off that we made yesterday for board day at the UPS store today so they get to people by like Thursday. Anyways, there's a method to my madness. So I dropped him off the store today and on my way home, I had the best adventure probably ever because I had an idea to make a charcuterie board. And you're like, that sounds completely normal. You do that like every day of your life. True, but I don't stack it with all Bucky's things. Look at this. I got a Bucky's mug. Crackers, fudge, beef jerky, little cookies, all the typical things you always get from Bucky's, all the best stuff. Cause I'm like, why not make a Bucky's themed charcuterie board? Isn't that like the most Jenny and Davis thing you've ever seen in your life? Yeah, pretty much. I'll probably throw a t-shirt in there too. So it'll be fun. Oh, I did it. I believe I have made the most on brand charcuterie board that we've ever made in the history of ever. On this board, we have Roasted almonds, a kolache, fudge, a peanut wheel, a uh, pecan praline, pecan praline, I'm sorry, I'm not originally from the South. We've got crackers, we've got bucky nuggies, we've got fudge, beef jerky, and a t-shirt. All the things I love most. All right, so it's the next morning. Um, yesterday was content day, and that went really, really well. I got a bunch of pictures done, Instagram, Reels, TikTok, you name it. I got tons of content made. And now, today is our quote-unquote day off. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna relax for a while. The next morning. New Bucky shirt, new day. It's like your oldest Bucky shirt. I know, but it's new to the viewers. Not really. Um, so today I am going to have Jenny's help in the shop today. Yay. Uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed with how much work there is to do because we have a pretty short timeline. Not because we promised a short timeline. It's because just we're really busy. we got a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. We, we overbooked basically this month. So uh, Jenny's going to help me today. We're going to make some good progress. Um, yes. Hopefully it will look like two cabinets by the end of today. Yes. It doesn't have to be finished, but if it looks like two framed out cabinets or consoles, we'll be doing good. We'll see. Well, we had our first catastrophe. Um, so I accidentally put the legs on this frame the wrong way. I held it up to Jenny and we both were like, eh, it looks a little Japanese. And then we realized we put the legs on the inside instead of on the outside So of instead the of the mid-century modern look, it looked very like... Samurai carpenter-y. Yeah, which oh. is not a bad style. It looked cool. It was just not the style that our client wants. Right, so uh, that was the hardest thing that I did yesterday was getting the leg geometry right. So maybe I'll be able to do it faster, but there's just no way to plug these holes and get the grain to match per. I mean, this is too expensive of a piece to be plugging holes like that. We can't waste time crying about it or trying to do a, a Band-Aid solution. We just gotta fix it, so 
Uh, Jenny's gonna continue doing edge banding. Hello. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. This is why you buy extra material, boys and girls. Oh man, well, I know that it doesn't look like much. It looks like just a giant pile of parts, but we're so close to- But we worked so hard on this big pile of parts. <laughs> well, we're really close to starting assembly. Yeah. I think that's the next step is we just need to get the domino out because that's how all of these panels mm -hmm. and stuff are gonna get jointed and glued together. Um, so yeah, subscribe so you don't miss the next video of us finishing these uh, console tables. We're really excited. It's been a while since we've done a custom job, so we're really happy. Yes, yeah. yeah, subscribe and follow along as we finish the build. Bruce is staring at me like, please take me on a walk. So we're gonna go do that now. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the bed.